In this video, I will show you how to calculate the inclusive wealth index for using a China as an example. As we talked about earlier, you can first format it to auto fit column width so you can see all the data, including the population. In the assignment, you are asked to calculate the natural capital which includes the agricultural land, forest, natural resources, and the uh, minerals. So you want to create a new row, write down natural capital here, and the natural capital would include all the things below. So you basically want to calculate the summation aggregate value for all these items. You can do that in Excel by using the function called sum. So you can select all of these items, just click enter, and you can calculate the that for 1995 using the same formula. Or you could move your mouse here and um, move to the lower end of the cell when you see the black plus sign, you can drag it to the right, which basically the formula that is used to calculate the aggregate natural capital value for 1995 is applied to the year 2000, um, 2000 and 2005. So this function, this um, very neat feature of Excel is called the autofill. You should definitely take advantage of it. Now you have the produced capital, human capital, and your calculated natural capital. You can now calculate the inclusive wealth. Inclusive wealth index, which is a summation of the three. You can do some of this, just to drag it to the so you can format it to make it look nicer. What you also want to calculate it is the per capita value for these things. So what you want to do is you can calculate these for per capita. The per capita value means you have to divide the total value which is shown in the tables above, like here, and divide that by number of people, the population. So to calculate the Per capita produced capital in 1990, what you need to do is just to divide the aggregate value in 1990, which is here, this number, and divide that by the corresponding population in 1990. Notice that, so we'll do the division here. Notice that zero is show, not showing up. Don't panic, just to, it is. Uh, due to the formatting issues, just to click here, change that to general, you will see the number. So basically this is saying um, the per capita produced capital is 0 0.00084 millions of US dollars adjusted at um, year 2000. So it is hard to interpret. You may want to change that to dollar value, which you can do by multiplying a million back. So now you have a better idea. So in 1990, you will have uh, produced a capital uh, per capita for China is $840. You can apply the same formula through, which will give you uh, the idea so you can see there is a huge increase over the last 20, 30 years, uh, 20 years for China's
produced capital which corresponds to the GDP. I have calculated these values, so I would just copy these back to save some time here. But you can do the idea is you can do all these calculations uh, following the same logic as we talked about uh, for the produced capital. So now you have note that you can also change the number of digits um, in Excel. So that's it.